Hey, the, the, the... What's up, boxing fans? Welcome back to the channel. Today, we've got some jaw-dropping news that's sending shockwaves through the boxing community. Gervonta Tank Davis, one of the brightest stars in the boxing world, is in the headlines for something far beyond the ring. You won't believe what the feds just uncovered in his house. Yep, that's right. The feds broke into Gervonta Davis's house. Stick around, because this story is one you don't want to miss. Gervonta Davis has been making headlines for his incredible performances inside the boxing ring. But recently, the spotlight has shifted dramatically from his knockout power to something much more serious. The feds have raided Tank's house, and what they found is something that's going to knock your socks right off your feet when we tell you what they found. There's a lot to discuss with this one. So without further ado, let's take a deep dive into the action. Before we dive into the details of the raid, let's set the stage by talking a bit about who Gervonta Davis is. Tank Davis is one of the most exciting and explosive fighters in boxing today. With a record of 30 wins and no loss, Davis has been lighting up the ring with his knockout power and fierce fighting style. He's a rising star in the sport and a fan favorite. But like many athletes who rise to fame quickly, Davis has had his share of controversies. From legal troubles to heated arguments, the spotlight hasn't always been kind to him. But nothing quite prepared us for what was about to happen. So, what exactly went down? Well, according to recent reports, federal agents conducted a surprise raid at Gervonta Davis' home. The raid wasn't just a routine check. It was part of a broader investigation. The authorities reportedly found a stash of illegal drugs and a collection of unregistered firearms in his residence. What the hell, bro? Uh, you know, people do. All right, so what, what, what's your side of this? The discovery was made earlier this week when law enforcement officials, armed with a search warrant, entered Davis's home. According to sources close to the investigation, the drugs found were not just small-time stuff, but were considered serious contraband. As for the firearms, they were reportedly found hidden in various locations around the house. So, how is this going to impact Gervonta Davis' career? That's the million-dollar question. First and foremost, Davis could face serious legal repercussions. The possession of illegal drugs and unregistered firearms is a serious offense, and if convicted, he could be looking at significant fines and prison time. In addition to legal troubles, this scandal could impact his career in a number of ways. Sponsors might start to distance themselves from him, and it's possible that his upcoming fights could be postponed or even canceled. We've seen how controversies can affect fighters in the past, and Davis is no exception. But this is where it gets interesting. Gervonta. Davis broke the silence on having illegal firearms, and guess who it's related to? Yep, you got it. Floyd Money Mayweather. Tank said the guns were just for safety. Now you're probably wondering, safety for what? Well, Tank broke it down. Gervonta Davis revealed some shocking news. Floyd Mayweather hired guys to jump him while he was out on runs. That's right, the only time Tank is unarmed is when he's out running, and Floyd took advantage of that. Mayweather spied on Tank and even shared his whereabouts with Tank's previous opponent, Frank Martin. Can you believe it? Frank Martin was the one who spilled the beans, but Floyd didn't stop there. Oh no. He went even further. We all know Tank Davis and Floyd Mayweather worked together for a long time. If there's one guy who knows all of Tank's moves, it's gotta be Mayweather. And guess what Floyd did next? He outed all of Tank's moves to Frank Martin. That's right, Floyd gave away all of Tank's secrets. And let's just say, Gervonta Davis was not too happy about it. You know he the one, you know he the one told Frank that I was running 
at five o'clock, I mean seven o'clock in the morning, Friday. He told Frank that he was giving Frank tips and stuff like that. I seen his people's uh, drop by while I was uh, running. It's cool. It's, it's all right. I, I don't really think too much of it. it ain't, you're not gonna hurt me. You know what I mean? So it, it's, it's good to be with him than be cool with him because he can do some crazy stuff. He'll picture him. It's a bad situation. Another statement was released by Gervonta Davis after the raid that mentioned Floyd. Now you can't miss out on what he said because this changes everything. I wanted to get to Floyd before he could get to me. He had guys spying on me at the hotel. He had some nasty plan in mind. I ain't scared. Bring it on whenever. But I do need some safety precautions. You can't be bringing your fists to a gunfight. Floyd Mayweather versus Gervonta Davis? How did this begin? Let's break it down. A new deal, seven fight deal, which is music to the ears of many boxing fans. You get to see you in action for several more years. What type of names are we talking about on those seven names? Uh, whoever you name, they could be in it. If I name some fighters, can you say yes or no? Yeah. Shakur Stevenson? Yeah. Ryan Garcia? Yeah. Devin Haney? Yeah. He sat Cruz. Yeah, but there's two people I already beat already, but yeah. Errol Spence. Outside the ring. <laughs> Floyd Mayweather. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. September. No. Tiafimo Lopez. Yeah. Out of all of those guys, who do you think is the most difficult opponent for you? Floyd Mayweather. Tank Davis is now arrested. Now, Floyd being Floyd, tried to take control of the narrative, claiming he's always been there for Tank, helping him every step of the way. He went on to say that it's always been Tank taking shots at him and disrespecting him. Floyd painted himself as the victim, insisting that he's only ever had Tank's best interests at heart. Now, we all, that's nothing but a cap. Well, my thing, my thing is, I've always been there for him from day one. Um, we had a game plan, and my game plan was to help him become world champion and take things to that next level. And I've, I've always been there for him. And just over the years, you can see, I've always been positive, always said great things about him, always pushed him to be great. And, um, but over the years, is constantly going on the internet, take a shot at Floyd, take a shot at Floyd, take a shot at Floyd. Uh, constantly be disrespectful, constantly be disrespectful. When all I ever been was respectful to try to help this fighter um, go as far as he could possibly go. That's all I ever did. Well, that's funny. Floyd says he's been there for Tank. So what about the fact he tried to get him arrested? I don't know about you guys, but that doesn't sound like helping to me. And it gets worse. Want to know why Floyd got Tank locked up behind bars? He got Tank thrown into jail because he found out Gervonta Davis was sneaking around with his ex. Yep, last time I checked, dating someone was not a crime. Floyd is as petty as they come. Floyd even joined forces with Tank's biggest enemy, Shakur Stevenson. Yep, Floyd and Shakur are putting in the work together in the gym. Now, with those two in the same room, you just know they're plotting something against Tank. Now, if you're wondering why Floyd has become anti-tank all of a sudden, here's why. Gervonta Davis recently revealed that he's landed a deal way bigger than Floyd. Now we know Floyd's ego is always through the roof. He's not going to stand by and let anyone outshine him in the industry. Uh, Set you off that you was like, I gotta do that. A lot of people don't know that what Floyd do. Uh, he said- So you feel like it was a sub, like he was subbing you like, oh, he, like- he, that, he was going at me. 
Mm. He was going at me. Yeah. And I knew for sure he was going at me. That's why I went at him. It's yeah. no reason for me to go at Floyd. Yeah. That's what I was thinking. Cause it's been, I feel like y'all y'all got, I would say love hate, but it's been like the last interview you showed them love. This week it was whatever. But is that sometimes like, you know, is it just like big bro, little bro seeing things different or what is it to you? No, know, it just, it, Floyd don't never, he feel as though I'm about to, I'm about to, I'm at that point where as though I passed him. Mm. And I and I'm doing it at a young age. Wait, like when Floyd was 20, uh, 29, you'll see, bro. Yeah. That deal that I'm talking about. Yeah. Oh, that's that the, deal, yeah, that's a part that's of the deal. He he don't, he don't know about that yet. Mm. But that's bigger than his deal. Damn. Wow. And y'all just and I'm just releasing. <laughs> this is exclusive. That's yeah. exclusive. Bigger than Floyd deal. Yeah. Take no cap, nigga. That's a lot of bread. You'll see. It's okay. gonna come out. But hey, Floyd doesn't have to worry about Tank's career anymore. Because Tank already messed that up on his own and with the whole raid thing. The boxing world is buzzing with reactions to this news. Fighters, analysts, and fans have all weighed in on the situation. Many are expressing shock and disappointment. But Mike Tyson, on the other hand, saw it coming. Mike Tyson said, Gervonta Davis didn't surprise me. You saw the fame and glory he was getting. This was going to happen. You get involved with certain types of people when you're on that level, and then the next thing you know, you're in handcuffs. What's next for Tank Davis? First, he'll need to deal with the legal ramifications of the raid. He'll likely face a long legal battle, and his defense team will have to work hard to minimize the damage. This is going to be a tough one to bounce back from. Let's see if Tank can make a comeback. So, that's all from today's video. If you enjoyed it, remember to leave a like, subscribe, and ring that bell icon so you never miss our upcoming videos.